So yeah, so dropped the magazine out. Magazine release came out. Mm. It's already on safety. I keep it on safety. Never keep one in the chain, but that's just my personal preference in case it uh snag on something in your pocket or while you're wearing it or whatever. You don't want it to go out. People shoot themselves all the time. Like I said, it comes with a little key. I'm going to bring it next time I come over. It's in my uh, safe in the house, and I got it buried. So, But I'm going to bring it. But uh, you get YouTube. You'll see how to take it apart. You put the little key in there. You twist it, and then it drops this down, and you take the slide off. But once I drop the magazine, you always check to make sure it's empty. And uh, so I always rack it a few times. Then I even look down the barrel see if there's something down there if it is one in the head it's going to either pop out the top or drop down where the magazine drop it mm. now this is what i'm this is the reason why i'm saying record it is because now it's cocked so if you drop the magazine and you racked it or let's say you just rack it once it's cocked it's cocked you want to know how to decock it now it's on safety they say you can just like i just checked it's empty so of course you can just pull the trigger and you know but i don't like to take that chance you know, so mm. if I'm checking and seeing if it's empty and I don't see no bullet and, you know, the magazine in there and it is on safety, I still don't like squeezing the trigger. So what I do is you pull back on the hammer because it's got a little play. You pull all the way back down on it mm. and then you slowly press the trigger just a little bit and then you slightly ease up on the trigger and then you let go of the trigger. Okay. That's how you decock it. But like I said, because I don't never trust it. Even if it, even if it is clipping her and one in the head and it's on safety and for some reason like because i've done it before like put it in there and it's on safety it's one in there now mm -hmm. but it's on safety so now it's one in there Here go another way that you find out i ain't gonna aim this at myself but it got a little feature in here where you can see the brass or the bullet in there oh yeah yeah so that's another way to tell if you got one in the head even if that wasn't cocked back mm -hmm. But, uh, so it's one in there. So whenever I did cock it just to put one in there, man, when you want to get it out of there, like I said, I dropped the clip. And then you rack it. It's either going to fall out the bottom or out the top. But I rack it. It fell through the bottom. And I just keep racking just to make sure. Be on the safe side. Look in there. Ain't nothing in there. Now I'm going to decock it. It's always on safety. I don't never take it off safety. Mm. Push down. Hold down on the trigger. Slightly squeeze the I mean, hold down on the hammer, slightly squeeze the trigger, and let it go. And that uh, mag release that you hit, is that on both sides, or is that... Yeah, it's on both sides. It's uh, ambidextrous. Okay. Yeah, it's on both sides. The same one on, over here. See, most of the time, it be a button on other guns mm -hmm. right here. You know, you push it, but this one, you just push down on it. Okay. But uh, it's empty. And that's just a, and it's just how you prefer. I mean, if I ever needed to use this, I mean, I'm just hoping if ever I had to, I got enough time to, cause I keep a, I keep a uh, clip in it, you know, mm -hmm. but it's still harmless, cause ain't nothing in the head and mm -hmm. it's on safety. So if I ever need to, I just hope I have enough time to flip that baby up, mm -hmm. and then gotta do what I gotta do. But I keep it on safety and without one in the head for my own personal safety while I'm. Cause you could forget this in your pocket. <laughs> it's so <laughs> little for me anyway. And in case it gets snagged on something in my pocket or on a belt or something, I don't want it to fight. And then somehow, let's say this accidentally gets switched up. It still ain't one in the head. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I still never pull that trigger ever. I just don't play like that. So, uh, so like I said, and then like I was showing you, see, like I showed you the other time, it ain't, you don't see the brass and you don't see the, uh, bullet in there. Mm -hmm. But, if I rack it, there it is. You see the silver? Yeah. I mean, it's in, it's, it's in there. It's, see, there it is. I moved it out the way. Now, the next one in there is chrome. Mm -hmm. You can barely make it out, but that's what it's for. Now, I drop it. It's still in there. So, I'm finna drop I'm finna rack it, and it's gonna fall out the bottom. Mm. And I just make sure it's empty. And then you look down up in there. That's what I do. Look down up in there. Hold the hammer back while it's on safety. And that's that. Otherwise, I mean, once you rack it, make sure it's completely empty. If you want to, just make sure it's on safety. You can hit the trigger. I just never like touching the trigger unless I'm finna shoot. Uh -huh. Just in case, because if it go off, <laughs> you never know. It could hit somebody or somebody gonna call the police because they just heard a shot. So I just never... 
mess with the trigger unless I'm at the shooting range. How <laughs> heavy is the uh, trigger pull? I don't know. You got to Google all that. <laughs> I have no idea. I got the book. I'm going to bring you all that, the actual manual. 